morning everyone so i have woken up this morning and i thought i would film a why eat in a day video I did one of these before and i actually get requested to do it a lot what you'll come to find is that i'm not the healthiest eater in the world i don't know if people think i'm on this crazy diet which is why i'm so like slim so i literally eat whatever i want to eat i don't restrict myself i don't diet in any way i just eat what i want to and i'm really lucky because my metabolism is super fast so i can pretty much get away with eating anything i want really and i don't really see affects my body to a certain extent if i eat out every day like i did first year of uni that's like one of the only times in my life where i noticeably gained weight i do just naturally have a very very fast metabolism i do get a lot of comments being like you starve yourself you don't eat enough i eat to the point where i'm full like i don't under eat i just eat what my body wants do you know what i mean like i listen to my body if my body's hungry i'm gonna eat i may have a smaller appetite to a lot of people which i have gathered but that's just me like i literally just eat what I want to eat, listen to my body, and that's that. I do try and eat like a balanced diet, so I try and eat some healthy foods to counteract for all the bad shit and junk food that I eat. I love sweets, I love chocolate, and that's my downfall. But yeah, it's actually half ten, I think it is. It's pretty much like a normal time that I would wake up and i'm gonna start my morning as i do every morning with a cup of tea i don't know about anyone else but i'm someone who in the morning i'm not able to eat loads and loads of stuff just because i feel like slightly sick i don't have a huge appetite and i've also oh my god please ignore my hair i've come to realize it's probably because i snack till really late so when i wake up in the morning i'm not like ravenous so yeah i always start my morning off with a cup of tea i genuinely can't function i notice a difference in my day if i don't have a cup of tea so that's how important it is to me okay kettle is boiling sometimes in the morning i will have if i'm on the way to uni i will like have like a cinnamon croissant or like a little snack to take with me just because i know i will get a little bit peckish and i want to eat something before but yeah on like a day like this where i'm not really doing anything just enjoy my cup of tea and yeah i don't really have like my next food until about 12 ish weird, it's gonna be weird to some people because i feel like some people are gonna be like breakfast is the most important meal of, meal of the day and i do get it to a certain extent so a cup of tea is so like it's so wholesome and like it makes me just feel warm inside and i just need like that warm drink and it makes me feel like reminds me of home because i always have a cup of tea at home so yeah that's what i do also i have no one cares i have green milk Guys, this is how much milk I have. Let me know how much milk you have in your tea. I feel like everyone's so different. Like, literally, one of my cousins, like, even that's a little bit light for me, but one of my cousins literally has so many milk in her tea that it's literally, like, that colour. But, yeah, I just, like, a little dash of milk. And then I have three sugars. Don't judge me. I'm trying to cut down, but I just, like, I like it sweet, and I feel like it gives me that extra boost of energy. So we're going to be using this. Courtesy of Sainsbury's. And there we go. That is my cup of tea, which I'm now going to go take into my room and enjoy that. Actually, might have a few, like, biscuits as well. Actually, I'm going to watch some Gossip Girl, which is now on BBC iPlayer. Also, I've been really productive this morning. I've changed my bedding. I've put some stuff out to dry. Okay, guys, so I actually have just done my hair and makeup. Just filming some TikToks getting some instant pics you guys know but i'm actually now gonna make myself some lunch it's half 12 nearly one and i'm getting really peckish now at this point i'm like ravenous so i'm gonna make myself a caesar salad so that is like one of my go-to lunches i have it quite often but i'm gonna head into town like after i eat that and go in and do some vintage shopping which you'll see in a vlog or the vlog's already gone up i feel like the vlog the vlog would have already gone up by this point also during the day i have brought my bottle back up to manchester which i got this for christmas um two years ago and it's just so good i love it and it makes me drink more water okay the caesar salad i think these strands are a bit too long so when i go into town i'm gonna like shorten them a little bit because they're looking a little bit too long okay so what you need for your caesar salad i feel like people are gonna be like why are you even saying it like it's pretty self-explanatory but someone might not know so let me tell you what i have in my caesar salad because i guess you could really add like any other vegetables you want but i keep it pretty simple this is like the lettuce thing that i use romaine hearts from tesco's this is just really good because it's like really crunchy and kind of like sweet i really like it caesar sauce obviously my favorite is tesco one and then croutons i've just got some olive oil and sea salt croutons this is essential like my caesar salad i won't like it 
but I won't like it. But like croutons really makes it because I need that like really crunchy thing and like it's just, I feel like it makes it a bit more filling. Parmesan cheese, another essential. This time I actually bought it like a solid. Normally I buy it like, you know when it's like grated really, really tiny. Um, but I actually think this adds more flavor. So I'm just being grating this. And then source of protein. I just buy these pre kind of cut chicken breast pieces, which I know is a really lazy way to do it. But I'm lazy, you know, I need to have these quick lunches ready to go. That is all you basically need. Obviously you could add more like vegetables and stuff. But I feel like this is pretty simple, but I like the way it tastes. I've also been absolutely loving the Weekend's new album. I feel like the start of the album isn't my favourite. It's like when it gets to like Best Friends, I really love Sacrifice, but Best Friends and the transition from Best Friends into Is There Someone Else? I think that's what it's called. It's sick. Like the way that it just transitions, it's too good. So what we're going to do over here, my little cooking. This is quite fun. I've actually always been wanting to do these because I find them really like interesting to watch other people's as like ideas as well on like what to cook. This bit's already been washed, so don't be alarmed guys. Um, but yeah, I'm literally just gonna cut it straight down like that. I just kind of put it into the bowl to see how much we've got. Um, okay, croutons. I like a lot of croutons, okay? So again, I'm going in with chicken pieces. I don't know how healthy this is, to be fair. Like, I'm not actually sure. Um, I'm going to leave enough for a another. What else do I take into uni for lunches? Sometimes I take tuna pasta, which I'll make that like the night before or I'll make it the morning of. And again, it's really, really easy, so quick and simple. Although, don't be fooled, I don't always make my lunch before I go to uni. I've literally done it like twice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, sometimes I get a meal deal, whatever I'm feeling. Okay, time for the cheese. The best part, so I'm literally just gonna grate it. All on top. Cheese is so expensive. This was like £3.50. Also, if people are wondering like where I shop, it honestly changes all the time. Like I, because we live obviously in town, it's so like we've literally got like access to every single supermarket. We've got a Sainsbury's, we've got a Tesco's, we've got an Aldi, we've got an M&S. And I just kind of only buy food for like two days because I'm always like in town. Yum. And then finally, sauce. See, I feel like this isn't healthy, but like, will we all just move past that? Okay, then I literally just drizzle that all on top. Okay, so this is my salad. So yummy. I honestly, this is my favorite thing ever to eat for lunch. And then I don't feel as bad if I have like a shitty dinner. Like yesterday, what, let me tell you what I had yesterday for dinner. I had chicken goujons, beans, and mozzarella sticks. I literally have an appetite of a five-year-old. That's another thing. Like, I just like very, like, plain things. Like, I like tomato pasta. So, I'm now just gonna, again... <gasps> no, I'm gonna watch Euphoria. I was about to say watch Gossip God, but I completely forgot that the new episode of Euphoria has come out. I'm gonna go watch that. See you when I'm peckish for a snack. Okay, guys. I'm now back home. It's now dark. I was just out shopping, vintage shopping, which that will be a separate video. If you want to see what I've got, it was very successful but yeah i was kind of like what should i have for dinner and i felt in the mood for fajitas so i went into aldi and got some stuff for some fajitas so let me show you what i got so oh a couple of random things i got i got a sandwich i've been really into sandwiches recently and so i just got a blt just to have like tomorrow or the next day like if i just want something quick okay so i got peppers some salsa and some guacamole, some chicken breast. I also got some giant straws. I'm a massive sweet person, so I had to get those. Um, I got some red onions, so I'm gonna have that. And then um, I got the like Aldi own brand for heater kit. Normally I get the, I don't even know what it's called, but I honestly like, there's no difference. Like there's, it'd be so silly just to go all the way to Tesco's just to get the other one. So I just got the Aldi one. And I can order a few for you guys if you want to know if it's any different. I don't think it is. And lastly, I got some fruit winders. Don't judge me. These are, this is what I mean. My appetite is of a child. I'm going to have fajitas, but I'm not going to have that yet because it's only like half four. So I'm going to have some oranges because that's been my go-to fruit. 
I go through phases of fruit, and at the moment, I like oranges. Okay, so I'm gonna have my oranges. I have two normally. I might even have three because two is never enough. Or oranges are so underrated. They're so good. So I'm just gonna have these, and I'm gonna sit and watch the rest of Euphoria. Hey guys. So I had my oranges, and then I had a fruit winder, and giant straws and it's now like seven I'm contemplating having like a packet of crisps because i was literally really feeling packaged but i'm just gonna wait until dinner i think i'm gonna make dinner pretty soon as well i also eat really late even at home we all literally eat like around eight o'clock sometimes later i'm so excited for dinner you know when you're excited for a dinner that's one of my favorite ones like i just literally every time i have the heaters like i just <laughs> absolutely love it but yeah i'm now gonna probably take my makeup off sort like my hair out like what's going on i think i'm going for a haircut tomorrow so i'll just prepare myself for that okay i'm just taking my makeup off and ow my face kind of burns i'm not sure why but yeah i'm gonna now start cooking dinner so yeah the so heaters is what we're having so yeah let's make this so guys, I'm just doing my peppers and my onions and my chicken, just cooking away. Before I add the piquita seasoning, I'm just putting some paprika on the chicken and on the peppers and some garlic as well, just because I love garlic. So I just added the seasoning packet and like the salsa. And this is how it's looking. Yum. Okay, so that is all done. I'm now gonna put it in the wrap and then add some guacamole and some salsa. Hey guys, this is my wrap. I'm gonna make another one, eat them, and then see if I want another one. But yeah, that is jam packed. Let me show you. Oh my god, it looks gross, but I just like to fill it with lots of guacamole and lots of salsa. Let me show you my other one. So, just eating dinner. Now it's time for my sweet snack. So I'm literally having chocolate bar, some sweets, and I'll probably have some more like chocolate. But yeah, I had two of those wraps, and then I'm gonna have the rest of it tomorrow for lunch or for dinner. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat my snacks and go chill. Hey guys. So that is pretty much everything that I eat in a day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's now what time is it oh my god i don't even know it's half nine so i'll literally probably just snack on a few more bits of chocolate and that kind of thing and then literally just go to bed but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more kind of like what i eat in a day or what I eat in a week let me know because it obviously the meals and stuff that i eat literally changed so often but yeah give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and yeah i'm gonna carry on watching cheer i just watched season two episode one and i've never watched it before um and i'm gonna go watch the first season so i know what's actually going on i will catch you guys in my next video bye